Hey everyone, Carl here with Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. I want to give a general overview of reverse osmosis systems. An activated carbon filter will be quite effective for reducing basic issues of chlorine taste and odor in your water. But for many of you, you may have more complicated water issues that require a more complex system to produce pure drinking water. A reverse osmosis system would fit the bill, and you might want to consider that. An RO system is a multi-stage process, and it works slowly, but it's highly effective in giving you extremely pure water. It can be used in industrial practices, but it can also be adapted to home use, typically in a system like this, in your kitchen, underneath the sink, for water you'll consume, either in drinking or cooking water. A reverse osmosis system uses the principle of osmosis, but as the name suggests, in reverse. Water is a universal solvent, meaning it will dissolve any material it comes into contact with. So you won't find pure water, 100% pure water, occurring naturally on Earth. It will have materials dissolved in it. Now, osmosis is a process by which water passes from a less concentrated solution through a semi-permeable membrane into a more concentrated solution for the purposes of equaling out the solution on both sides of the membrane. Reverse osmosis is the exact opposite process in which you apply pressure to push the water through the semi-permeable membrane, leaving the contaminants and particulates behind and producing water that is nearly 100% pure on the other. And the water on the other side then becomes your wastewater, or we'll often call it the brine water. Now let's take a look at a typical RO system and the different stages. The first step is a sediment filter to reduce the larger particles in the water, the sand, dirt, rust, calcium carbonate, and we would typically recommend a P5 sediment filter for the first canister. In the second stage, or the middle canister, is an activated carbon filter, which will help further reduce particulates and also begin to reduce the level of chlorine, taste, and odor in the water. We would typically recommend the CVC-10 for that second, which is a carbon block filter. And then in the third, or last of the pre-filters, another activated carbon filter for further reducing chlorine, as well as to reduce organic and inorganic chemical contaminants in the water. And we will, as a standard recommendation, suggest the CBR2-10R, which is a lead reduction filter with a built-in flow restrictor to maximize the time the water spends in contact with the filtering medium. And then to say a word about the fourth stage, which is the reverse osmosis membrane itself. You'll want to be able to identify the RO membrane in your system so that when it comes time to replace that membrane, typically about every two years, you'll need to know the number that is typically printed right on the label on the filter. Now, most filters won't have any label on them. The membrane is an exception to that. It's very specific. So when you go to waterfilters.net to order your replacement membrane, You'll want to know the number. In this case, it's a TW30-1812-50. You'll need to open the canister, remove the membrane, and know that number so that we can provide you with a membrane that is the right size and style and fit for your particular RO system. 